Hey, Joey Blue here, and I want to talk to you about aliasing in the SQL language. So aliasing gives you a chance to rename columns and tables as you write in a SQL statement. So first here, we're going to take a look at the employee table. And what I want to do is I want to, uh, I want to just grab a couple different columns here. Employee name and job and salary and so if I do that I just get three columns well what if I want to add the salary plus the commission so if I add that together you can see there's no column name here and so what I want to do is I want to give it a column name so you do that by saying as and I want to say total salary and now I've aliased that column and given it a, a new name now you might be wondering why we've got nulls here well I'm going to introduce a little function here it's called is null and this commission has null values and when I add a value to a null value it gives me a null value. So what we're going to do is just plug a zero in there if there's a null. And now I've got all my salaries added up. So <clears throat> we've aliased the column. Now when else could we use this? Well we talked about grouping before so I want to do a group. And I want to sum the salaries. And so I'll need to group by the job execute that and you can see again I don't have a column name for this new sum salary so I will give it an alias as salary sum and there you have it so now we have an alias on the columns another thing you can do is you can alias a table And a lot of times, so in this case, I aliased it as employee table. Not useful because we're not returning anything here table name wise, but this becomes very useful when you start doing joins. Um, and when you start doing joins and putting two tables together, you can make your tables like uh, for employee table, you just say E, and then you can make your other tables a different name. So in this case, the table aliasing is not much, much help at this point but the column aliasing is very much help and so whenever you have a new column so if we did the minimum salary you do that right and we ran this you see it doesn't have a column name but we can easily alias that now as min salary and so that's an introduction into the aliasing in the SQL language.